there are sacrifices you must make if you want to achieve your dream. Something happened in 1973. A man called um, Hernando Cortes, Hernando Cortes, an influential military man, led a band of soldiers on a war. They wanted to conquer a place called um, Aztec Ricks, a part of Mexico. So he led them on a war. When they entered the territory of Aztec Ricks, this man discovered something that troubled him. What did he discover? He discovered that his soldiers have lost the inspiration to fight. Now, what did this man do? He called about three soldiers, and they followed him, and they went to the bank of the river where they anchored their ships. And he gave them instruction to burn the ships. Those soldiers not understand him. But the military, you obey the last command. He told them, burn the ships. The soldiers faced the ship and turned the ship into pieces. As this was happening, his soldiers, who were at the other end, looked back in horror as their ship were set ablaze. After burning those ships, it was as if a new lease of energy was injected inside those soldiers. What happened? They fought with ruthless and fiercest gods and disposition. Now, what happened? That ship that was there was like a safety net. If we don't win this war, we enter our ship and go back. But the moment those ships were destroyed, they knew that the die was cast. If we don't win this war, we will die in this land. There is no escape. And they knew it was either you survive or you die. If you approach your quest for success with this kind of disposition, that there are ships I need to burn, that there are comfort zones I need to live in order to achieve my dream. If you don't do that, I'm telling you, you are going nowhere. So this kind of disposition will make you, if you enter university, and then you are studying for your exam. Maybe you study for two hours and you feel tired. You remember that if I don't succeed, there is nobody to help me. I need to succeed. So instead of studying for two hours, you go for extra three hours. But when you live your life with, I have a safety net. If I don't make it, I go back. You may not go far in life. Let your quest for success assume this kind of desperate dimension. That is what Jesus meant. If this thing will cause you not to succeed, cut it off. You could be friends. You may enter university and you join a group of friends and you discover that, my dear, these people are not giving me what I want. Cut off that friendship and move on. You meet a boyfriend whom each time you are with the boyfriend, everything is about sex, 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 sex. You will like, this was not, this was, this is not how I was raised. I have to cut off this relationship. Cut it off. Imagine being a mother at 17 and 18. Kai, I'm telling you, next pregnancy will exert a terrible toll on you. It's too much a price to pay. Many young girls today cannot give birth to a child because of certain things they have done to themselves. So there are friendships you need to get rid of if you need to succeed. So that is what Jesus meant. If this is because you to sin, cut it off. 